How exactly do we cough? When anything irritates our breathing passage, our brain activates the cough response. First of all, we gasp in a large volume of air into our lungs. Next, our epiglottis closes, thus closing off the windpipe. Then our rib muscles begin to contract, thus putting pressure on the lungs. But as the windpipe is closed, the air can't move out, so more pressure builds up. Finally, the epiglottis opens and air forcefully rushes out, carrying the irritant and thus producing a cough. Hmm. How will we sound on Mars? Firstly, because of the cold Martian atmosphere, sound travels at a lower speed on Mars as compared to that on Earth. Hmm. Secondly, as the Martian atmosphere is extremely sparse, it affects the way sound waves travel from one point to the other. Hence, the volume of sound heard on Mars is automatically lower. Hmm. Lastly, the Martian atmosphere is made up of around 96% carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide absorbs a lot of higher-pitched sounds. As a result, only lower-pitched sounds can travel long distances on Mars. Hmm. <laughs> How do spiders make their web? Firstly, the spider uses its silk thread to connect both the endpoints, thus forming a bridge. Secondly, the spider also ties a loose thread between both the points. Now from the center of the loose thread, it adds a new thread and pulls it to form a Y shape. It then joins the three points to form a frame. Then it starts laying radial threads till the web becomes strong enough. Finally, from the center of the web, it starts laying the silk threads spirally, eventually completing the web. Hmm. Where does gold come from? Simple, from Amsum's locker. Oh, Amsum! Gold is produced only when a supernova occurs. As in, when stars explode or when neutron stars collide with each other. During such events, Heavy elements, such as gold, are formed via the rapid neutron capture process. Now, when the Earth was getting formed, gold, along with other heavy elements, sank towards the Earth's core. It is believed that around 4 billion years ago, a huge number of asteroids collided with planet Earth, stirring its core and forcing some of the gold into the Earth's mantle, as well as crust. Hmm. What causes huh? altitude sickness? No idea, but Amsum is not afraid of heights. Huh? Oh, Amsum! <laughs> we can develop altitude sickness if we climb rapidly. Our body is not able to adjust to reduced oxygen, as well as changes in air pressure. The mildest form of acute mountain sickness, or AMS, typically occurs above 2,500 meters, with symptoms such as headaches, tiredness, dizziness, etc. It can further progress to high-altitude pulmonary edema, thus making it difficult to breathe, and further to high-altitude cerebral edema, as in swelling of the brain. The best way of preventing altitude sickness is to increase elevation by no more than 300 meters per day. Hmm. Why do we huh? have chins? No idea. But, but, where is my chin? Oh, I'm some. Firstly, it is believed that chins relieve our jaws from the stress that they encounter while chewing food. Secondly, it is believed that our tongues may be putting a lot of stress on our jaws while speaking. Now our chin may be acting as a reinforcing bone, which resists that pressure. Thirdly, it is believed that chins exist to help us attract mates. Lastly, according to one theory, our ancestors had bigger faces. We evolved into smaller ones. And our chins are still gradually shrinking. Hmm. What is the purpose of eyebrows? Firstly, our arch-shaped eyebrows help channel our sweat as well as the rain towards the sides of our faces, thus protecting our eyes. Secondly, eyebrows help us express a wide range of emotions like surprise, anger, etc. Lastly, eyebrows also help in recognizing faces. In a study, scientists found that participants huh? had a tougher time recognizing people's faces when their huh? eyebrows were erased. Hmm. Do animals really dream? Humans dream during their rapid eye movement stage of sleep or REM sleep. In a research, the brain activity pattern of a rat running for some cheese and the one during its REM sleep was found to be similar. 
Moreover, a singing bird's brain activity while singing and while in its REM sleep also showed similarity, thus indicating that perhaps animals dream of their daily activities. Hmm. What exactly is blood rain? Firstly, around Sahara Desert, brownish dust and sand carried away by storms mixes with water droplets in the clouds, thus giving the rain its brownish red color. Secondly, in Kerala, red spores of Trentipolelia annulata algae get carried away by winds and mix with the falling water droplets, thus causing blood rain. Hmm. Lastly, in Zamora, Hematococcus pluvialis algae actually get caught in the rain clouds. As a result, they get stressed and produce a red pigment called astaxanthin, thus causing blood rain. Hmm. What is claustrophobia? I think, I think, I think it is the name of a new burger. <laughs> oh, um, some. <laughs> Claustrophobia is an anxiety disorder. It is an intense fear of confined or enclosed spaces. Symptoms of claustrophobia may include shortness of breath, faster heartbeat, sweating, etc. Mm. Some researchers believe that a defect in one of our genes may be the cause of our claustrophobia. Hmm. It is also believed that if one of our parents has claustrophobia, then we are more likely to have it. Mm. Finally, it is also believed that our fear of enclosed spaces may be stemming from a traumatic childhood event like being stuck in an elevator. Hmm. What is cholesterol in the human body? No idea, but Amsum does not have any cholesterol. Oh, Amsum! <laughs> Cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance. It is present in all the cells of our body. Cholesterol helps in building cells, vitamins, as well as hormones. Our liver makes all the cholesterol needed by us. But sometimes, our eating habits can force our liver to make more cholesterol than necessary. It combines with other substances and forms a thick, hard deposit on the inside of our arteries. As a result, our arteries become narrow, increasing the risk of heart disease or stroke. Hmm. What if snakes ruled the world? No ways. Um, some will always rule the world. Oh, um, some. Firstly, if huh? snakes ruled the world, <laughs> everyone may have to learn how to hiss like a huh? snake. Hmm. Secondly, if snakes ruled the world, they might make slithering compulsory for everybody. Hmm. Thirdly, if snakes ruled the world, people with aphidiophobia, as in fear of snakes, will definitely leave for a different planet. Hmm. Fourthly, if snakes ruled the world, other reptiles may apply for secretary's job. Fifthly, if snakes ruled the world, some people will have no option but to keep baby snakes entertained all day long. Hmm. Lastly, if snakes ruled the world, other clothes might get banned. Everyone might have to wear a snake costume. 